Hello everyone, my name is Mrs. Quattro and I'm your teacher for AP Environmental Science and Regular Environmental Science. And I just wanted to give a quick introduction, not only of myself, but of the class you'll be taking this year. Um, so let's start with myself. I've been a teacher at PCO for seven years now. Um, I've been teaching both APES, which is AP Environmental Science and Regular Environmental Science the entire time and it is my passion. Uh, not only do I love helping students learn about the environment and environmental science, but I really try to live my life in a way that is good for the environment. Um, I graduated from UCO with a degree in science education biology, so it's with a real focus for teaching. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I love what I do. Uh, I'm not originally from Oklahoma, um, although I've been here about 15 years, so it's been the majority of my life I've been, I've been in Oklahoma, but I was actually born and raised for half of my life in Southern California in Orange County, if any of you are from Southern California. Um, I, so I lived about half my life there, and then the rest of it, the rest of my teenage years, I lived in a really small town in Georgia, um, so sometimes my Georgia accent will come out a little bit, so if you hear that, if you hear a real Southern accent, um, that's, that's where that's coming from. Um, I'm in Oklahoma because I met my husband, uh, my now husband, in college in Georgia, and uh, we moved back here because this is his hometown in Oklahoma City, um, and we got married. The reason I'm not in class right now is because we now have a baby girl. Um, her name is Zoe Adelaide, and she is six weeks old. Um, if you had me last year, then you know how big of a deal it was to, to name her. We had all of the classes uh, naming her in a competition, almost. Uh, if you didn't have me last year, that's what happened. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm staying home right now to take care of her for a bit. Uh, my plan is to return to class right after Labor Day, so uh, the beginning of September, so I won't be gone for too long. Um, until then, you're not going to be able to get in touch with me. Just be aware of that. However, I've already pre-recorded videos and come up with really fun activities for you to complete in class. Um, so make sure you're doing your work, please, um, while I'm out. And then when I come back, I will uh, help you with any issues that you're having or might be having in class. Um, the other thing is, is just so you know, um, Zoe, Zoe is deaf. Um, in both of her ears. Um, so as the year goes on, I'm going to try and learn ASL. Um, so any of, if any of you know ASL and uh, would be happy to teach me, I, I would be happy to learn from you. So, um, all right, well, let me go lay her back down and we'll continue on. Uh, now let's talk about what I'm going to teach you. Um, if you are in my second, third, or fourth hour classes, then you're lucky that you have a second teacher in class. Her name is Mrs. Gates, and if she hasn't already introduced herself, I'm sure she will soon. Uh, so throughout the year, uh, we'll be learning about environmental science, obviously. Uh, our big focus is how does the environment function and then how do humans function within it? Uh, we impact the environment with everything we do and things that we don't do. So we're going to discuss uh, topics like human populations, ecology, which you should have gone over in biology, but we're going to go into it in a bit more focus with the environment specifically. We'll talk about pollution, air, water, terrestrial pollution, uh, food and water resources. So where does our food come from? How can we grow it in a more environmentally sustainable way? Uh, and then climate change, of course, we're going to get into that. That'll be a, an entire unit all its own. Those are, so those are just a few of the big topics that we're going to talk about throughout the year. Uh, we're, we're really going to be looking at problems associated with the environment um, and then discuss solutions to those problems because it's only, it's only helpful if we talk about how do we fix them. So um, you'll have a couple of activities to complete. Um, if you're in APES, 
you're going to complete a questionnaire um, where you're going to tell me a little bit about yourself and then you're going to complete an activity called would you rather where you're going to discuss some environmental choices that you would make you must explain why you've made that choice um, and you'll write your answers on your own paper um, and you are going to need to make sure that you make a choice. You can't say neither. You need to, you need to make a choice. The instructions will be on the page for you. If you are in regular environmental science, then you're also going to complete a questionnaire telling me you about yourself. Uh, and then you're going to read a poem called Earth Rise by Amanda Gorman. Um, she is a poet laureate. She is, I believe, 24 years old now or 23 years old. She's very young, um, very accomplished. So as you read, I want you to do the following things on the back of your questionnaire. There are three things to do, three things to do. Um, one, I want you to explain what you think this poem is about after you've read it. Two, I want you to choose a line or phrase from the poem that moved you, engaged you, inspired you, provoked you, um, or in some way was meaning for, meaningful to you. Um, it could be a line that you feel like captures something that's really important in the poem. And then the third thing you're gonna do is you're gonna choose a word that captures your attention or stands out and is particularly powerful to you. Um, so just a word that, that captures your attention. So, all right, well, uh, hope, hope we get to know each other, uh, you know, in person in a little bit, but for now, um, make sure you work hard and I'll see you in some videos and you'll hear from me a little bit later on. Thanks so much, have a great day.